Hmm? Who else is there knocking so hard? Hey, you! Jay, get ready soon! We have problems! Mikey! What happened, friend? Zombie! The apocalypse has arrived! A wave of zombies is attacking our village and destroying everything around! We need to get ready soon! News! Let's see what they say on the news! Mikey, are you kidding me? What other zombies? I haven't heard anything like that! I repeat again! You have two choices! Either pack your things and leave here as far as possible, or... The second option is to come to my base and join our ranks! We will teach you military skills, and we will all go destroy zombies together! Lord, we need to do something! Pack your things and we're leaving here! That's what we will do! No, Mikey! This guy won't do that. He's right, we need to go to the base. JJ, are you completely crazy? What a military base! We need to go far away from all this! No, Mikey! What if this situation is all over the world? We are not cowards to just sit and wait for our fate. We will go to the base and train. Especially look out the window. Zombies are already here. Oh my god. Jay, maybe you want to change your mind before it's too late? He's right. We need to be able to fight against zombies. Mikey is your choice. All right, you can leave, but then I'll have to go to the base myself. Okay, so be it. But how will we get out of the house if there are zombies around? Sewer! We'll blow up the toilet and go down the drain! Uh, this is disgusting! Is it really impossible to break the window and run out of here? No! Zombie is already very close! We need to escape through the sewer! Mikey, we're jumping! We have little time! Somehow I'm scared to jump there, to be honest! Mikey, we have two choices. Either we are eaten by zombies, or we jump there. So I think the choice is obvious. Come on quickly, we don't have much time. Zombies are already here, and on me have already climbed into our house. Oh my god, I can't believe it's so bad. But why? We need to get to that dynamite cannon. JJ, is it you who arranged everything here so strangely? I see that there are boats too. But couldn't you install a ladder here instead of this useless cannon? Now you will see how useful it is. Come on, Mikey, you're the first. Let's go upstairs! Well, Mikey, how are you? Are you in the yard there? I'm alive! Come on now, it's your turn! Oh my god! I hope this was the right decision, because I'm very scared too. To be honest, I don't know what to do anymore. Well, now, we definitely need to go to the base since all our things are at home, and the zombies have already captured the village! Wow! Of course, we were saved in time. Well, good luck to us. This is the base. Ah, uh, is everyone ready? Hey, hello. We came here to undergo training. Good. What is your learning goal? We want to learn how to destroy zombies. They took over our house and now we have nothing. I have to conduct a search first, so stand near the gate. In fact, we have nothing since we didn't even take things. Good. But I can't trust your word, Gato. So do what I told you or get out of here. Good! No problem. We didn't come here to argue. Stop! I have bomb charges with me because I had to destroy the rubble. Give me some explosives here. It will lie with me until you leave here. Good! I apologize that this happened. Good. You can go to the base. But your friend, do you have something forbidden? I definitely don't have anything with me. You can search me. Excellent. Go to the base and look for the uniform in the garage. Good luck to you. Yes. What do we need to do there? Go to the garage and look for a form. Yes. It looks like we were accepted into this military base. But who will teach us? There must be some kind of commander or someone else here. In general, let's take the form first. I think they know that we are here. Now we have to spend our time here. It's unknown how long we'll be here, but... I think we'll get used to it. There is nothing special that a person cannot adapt to. Yes, I agree with you. It's time for us to get used to the fact that this place will become our new home. It's much safer here than in our house. So I like it here so far. Well, that's great, because a new page in our lives is beginning. 
Mikey! I'm ready! And you? Wait a little. I forgot something here. I'll go out now. Mikey, come on faster! How long can I wait for you? So much time has passed and you are not ready yet. Hey, what have you done? What did you throw at me? Come on, stop it! I didn't do anything. You have misunderstood it. Enough, Jace! I'm tired of your stupid jokes! How many times do I have to tell you to stop doing this? But it's funny to me. <laughs> but it's not funny to me. If I said that you should stop doing this to me, then you should do it. No! Come on, quickly! The commander is waiting for us. By the way, where is our commander and who is he? JJ and Mikey, is that you? Great! Well then, send for me. I am your commander and I will teach you military art. Pass this test first. I have to look at your level of combat training. Good! We will pass this stretch without any problems, right? I can't understand something. Is this our training? Should we just go through with it? Well, no. I think that the commander just wants to understand what we are. This is a completely normal test to determine your skills. I just thought that we would learn to fight, shoot weapons, and use military equipment. Are we just going to jump over these stupid barriers? Hey! Don't be so nervous! This is temporary for now. Very soon, we will get through all this and begin more serious tests. Well, I hope so. Ah, uh, I hope so. Because with this level of content and variety, oh my, I'll just go crazy soon, to be honest. I don't understand your indignation. Everything is not as bad as it could actually be. And we have to get used to it, because this is our new home. What a family! Everyone likes the way we spend our time. No! What's wrong? Are you going to start replacing Mikey now? Are you also going to constantly whine about how nothing works out? Hey, you! Be careful with your words! I'm not whining! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. It's just the first thing that came to my mind. JJ, remember that I never just whine. Even if I'm indignant, I probably have special reasons for that, right? I don't know. It always seems to me that you are just a whiner. Uh, do you think I'm a whiner? Well then, I'll tell you what I think about you. It seems to me that you constantly tolerate everything, even what you don't like. And in general, I have the feeling that you're ready to gobble up everything they give you, even if you don't like it. Hey, what is this Mikey's rude tone? Calm down! I'm not being rude to you. I'm telling you factually. I say it as it really is. Hey, guys. What is your problem? Maybe we should talk calmly. Don't worry, Bella. We talk to him like this all the time when we are trying to figure out friendly relations between each other. Well done, soldiers. Good job. You showed yourself well, and now your next task is the shooting range. You will shoot not from conventional weapons, but from lasers. Lasers? Why? Because they are more effective against mutants, since there are mutants that are immune to bullets. Now show me what you are capable of. Well, I can shoot. I don't know what about Mikey. Well, well, both of them stopped. Mikey, lie down and remember what I tell you. Yes, Mikey. Lying down position quickly. What is he doing? Hey, you? Hey, both of you. Well, quickly fall on your stomachs and do push-ups. You can't behave like that on a military base. You are setting a very bad example. Now quickly follow me. You will have to take another training course. What kind of new training? Bombs. Go and learn how to defuse a bomb. Hmm. Okay, is everyone ready? Well then, let's get started. Why? What's the point of defusing the bomb if we have to learn to survive in the zombie apocalypse? Yes! I'm also interested in knowing this! I honestly don't understand it myself. Maybe he overinterpreted something. No. I just think that whoever came up with this... action? He needs to break off his arms because only a stupid piece of a talking body could think of learning how to defuse a bomb during a zombie apocalypse. Bella, why are you so angry? Are you kidding me? Guys, use your brains, just think about it. When crowds of zombies walk around, do we learn to defuse a bomb? For what? On the contrary, we need to learn how to blow it up. Indeed, it turns out that we are doing some kind of nonsense. We need to talk to the commander. 
Because this cannot happen! We're just wasting our time. We could really learn something more important and not this. If we tell the commander this, he will most likely punish us. And we'll make you do push-ups again. That means this commander is some kind of stupid piece of walking meat. I don't even understand why we do all this. Well, Mikey, now it's your turn to defuse the bomb. Go ahead. Ah, okay, this is such a waste of time. Well, in fact, this is knowledge that may not hinder us in the future. If we want to work as military personnel. Well, yes, okay, perhaps it is. So, soldiers, your task is to carefully walk through the minefield without touching the mines. What? Is this some kind of joke now? But how? Come on, Mikey. Just move forward carefully. And don't look at the mines. The most important thing for you and me is not to step on them. Is it clear? Yes, but... Oh, I'm so scared, to be honest. What if I do this? Lord, what are you doing? Oh, no. Ah! Uh, JJ! Mikey, oh my god! Are you alright? JJ, why did you do that? Are you completely crazy? I didn't think that because of which flower I could start such a chain reaction. Your problem is that you don't know how to think. God, it seems we failed the test. Yes, no, there's still a field ahead. Just go there carefully. JJ, I ask you, never make those sudden movements again. I just almost... Oh my God. What kind of movements are these? <laughs> there are no judges. Don't you dare do this. Stop it. Oh my God, what have you done? Ah! Ah, time we ran a Lord Horror! Ah! Oh no! My legs! Oh no! Ah! Lord, what happened here? Where am I? Mikey? Are you there, Mikey? Lord, is this what Mikey and I did here? I can't believe it! Mikey! Jay, I'll break your face now! Ah! Mikey, leave me alone! Jay, do you even understand what you've done? Come here quickly! Mikey, I won't do anything. You should calm down. This is our problem. Not our problem! The commander will destroy us for what we have done! It's your fault! No! We are not to blame. But do you know why? Because it's the commander's fault. It's his fault that he sent us to this field. We shouldn't have done that. So, soldiers. Several days of your training have already passed, and today, you will have to fly airplanes. So go ahead. Take the pilot's uniform and sit at the controls of the plane. Wow, Mikey. Cool. You and I will now fly on airplanes. Cool, isn't it? Yes. I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. At least I start to like something on this base. Well, Mikey, if we are ready, then let's fly. Of course. I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. Do you like Mikey? Do you like the fact that we are flying now? Do I like it? Well, of course, Jay. This is the best moment in the last three days that we have been at this base. Today is the fourth day, and very little remains until we fully become professional soldiers. Oh my god, Mikey. There's something wrong with my plane. Oh no, ah! Jay, oh my god, are you alive there? Yes. I'm fine, and by some miracle, I survived. But here's the plane. Something is really bad for him. Oh my god, JJ, how could this happen? Don't you know how to fly a plane? I can. It's just that the system is broken. It stopped working, and something happened to the engine. Lord, I'm just shocked that I managed to survive. Perhaps the water helped me, because the plane could easily explode. It doesn't matter. The most important thing is that you survived. Okay? I understand that flying lessons are over for us today. Lord Mikey, wake up soon. It began. What already? Oh my god, how long we have been waiting for this and now this moment has come. To be honest, I'm even somehow very happy. Because this is a great opportunity for us to test our skills in battle with these dirty mutants. Yes, but I didn't think they would attack the base. If they attacked, that means only one thing that they are very close, and there are a lot of them. We need to repel this zombie attack and return home. JJ, to be honest, I'm so used to living here that I wouldn't leave this military base. Me too! You and I will sign the contract and talk to the commander. 
But first, let's destroy all these zombies. I'll use the tank now. They are simply powerless against such weapons. They can't do anything to us. Mikey, cover me. I'll go down now and shoot at them with a laser weapon. Laser? You'd be better off sitting in a tank and not taking such risks. No big deal, Mikey. These zombies are very weak when we have weapons and when we know how to handle them. Just look at this. These zombies are just a pathetic creature. Yes, Jay. You and I are doing a great job. We almost destroyed everyone. Well, what can I say? I congratulate you. We did everything. And now we can go back. Soldiers, I wanted to thank you for the fact that you perfectly repelled the zombie attack on our base. Great job. I would especially like to highlight our new recruits, JJ and Mikey. They worked well together, and I want to offer you guys a contract. Will you serve at our base? Yes, cool commander. Of course we agree. We really enjoyed. 